In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some projects that I've done around the house. I'm gonna show you a project that I'm in the middle of, and then we're gonna tackle a project together. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys a few projects that I've done this week. I'm going to show you a project that I'm in the middle of and then I'm going to take you along for a project that we are going to complete today. Also, if you hear a dog like making a bunch of noise, Leo is right down there playing with his little rope and he's usually pretty noisy. So if you hear something weird, it's just sweet little Leo. He's attacking a rope. All right, so like I said, this video is gonna be a little bit different. We're not gonna be doing cleaning. We're not gonna be doing routines and things like that. We're going to talk about projects. What I wanted to let you guys know though is that when I am in the middle of doing projects, you can hear Leo, when I'm doing projects, it feels like my house just kind of falls apart. Sometimes I do really well and I'm able to stay on top of routines. Other times I'm like in the zone. I'm not thinking about doing my weekly quick clean. I'm not thinking about doing zone cleaning. I'm just trying to get projects done. A couple things though that I do try to maintain when I am working on projects is I still always do my morning and evening routines because for me, those are just basic. They're super necessary every day. So that means that I'm staying on top of laundry and I'm staying on top of dishes. So, those basic things are getting done, but like the deep cleaning and the other things, they're not happening. My floors really need to be swept, not swept, they need to be vacuumed, but I haven't wanted to run my robot vacuum because I've had paint on the floor and projects and things like that. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing today. First thing I wanna do though, is I wanna show you my new artwork in my living room. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the post I've been making over the last few weeks. I polled you guys to kind of help me decide on some artwork. At first, I really thought that I wanted something really bold, really colorful, and then, then I thought about something neutral, like really neutral, and I knew I would like, like something really neutral would look really nice, but I do like color. In the end, I ended up going kind of in the middle. I didn't go as bold as I initially wanted to, but I didn't go completely neutral anyway. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. My couch is a mess. There are clean sheets on it, but I don't care. This is project week. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you the new artwork. It took my husband almost four hours to get these pictures hung. I'm very happy with the quality. I will link them in my Amazon storefront. I'll put a link down below. Um, I'm very happy with the quality, but we had to add the hanging hardware to the back of them ourselves. And then our wall above the couch, it's got like a slant. So there was just a lot of measuring that had to happen. He is super meticulous. We had the laser levels, we had all the things because he was gonna make sure that everything was spaced just right and level and he did an excellent job. So it was worth the time, but y'all, I didn't think it was gonna take that long to hang these pictures. So let's turn the camera around. All right, so here they are, and check out those sheets. I just need to fold them and put them away. They came out of the dryer really late last night. So anyway, this is my new artwork, and I am so, so happy with how this turned out. So this is a giant sectional, and we really needed something that was really going to kind of make a statement in here. I'm running over the tripod as I'm backing up. Um, so each picture is two feet wide and then three feet tall. And like I said, I just needed something that was a large scale. I looked at mirrors, I looked at a lot of different things and nothing was really going to give me the size that I needed. So I found these I'm really happy with them. They ended up having a lot of green in them. I knew they had a lot of green in them. I like green, I'm a fan of green, but I thought they had more blue. So this one does have quite a bit of blue, but I actually thought this one had blue in it and it does not. That's okay. 
And then this one does not have any blue in it. And you guys know that I like blue. So I'm going to show you the project that that has led into. So this little side table is usually on the other side of the sectional and it has been white for a while and I really want it to match this table slash desk. So I painted it with the same gray paint that I use on the table. That didn't work very well. So then I used a glaze that didn't work. So I ended up having to pick a color and actually painting the piece. Um, that's not what I really wanted to do, but it is okay. I was hoping to be able to just paint this table, but now I'm also going to need to paint the other table. So I decided to get a paint that is for, um, let's see, it's for furniture and cabinets. I have never used this paint before. I will say that I was very happy with how the paint applied. It was very easy to paint with. It's a paint that you can match to any color. And so I'll have to tell you guys how it holds up over time. All right, so now you can see that I have painted this. I just got the last coat on. I say it's the last coat. I may do one more coat just on the top. I'm not sure. I'm gonna let it fully dry and then we will see. But I think it's gonna be really pretty. It's a sage green. I'll pop the color on the screen. I can't remember it right this second. And then like I said, I am still going to paint this one to match because this is a desk and I've always just used it in here as an end table. And then this table is going to go right here. So it used to be there. It was white. Like I said, I tried the gray. I tried all the things and here we are. The good thing though is that I knew I wanted to paint that table and I was really struggling with a color. So because I finally got artwork, it really was, it really helps me figure out a color. So even though it's kind of been a project, I don't think it's been a bad project. The reason I'm still going to paint this is because when we moved, it got a couple of really bad nicks in it. You can see one there. And then there's one in the back. I usually try to keep them covered up, but I do really like this piece of furniture. It belonged to my husband's late grandmother. It's one of my favorite pieces of furniture actually. And so I think it's gonna be really pretty. I think it's gonna be really pretty in this green color. So that is one set of projects. All right, so for the next project, this is not gonna be super exciting, but I'm gonna show it to you because it is very exciting to me. So we are in our den area, and basically these bookshelves hold my husband's book collection. It's not just his books though, obviously like I have pictures, I have my blue and white pottery, his fish is up there, these cabinets are super full, all of this was super full, but I decided that I was going to make a place for all of my planners in here. So this bottom shelf, I decided to designate for me. I have a lot of planners. Some of them I have just, you know, to review and share with you guys. Some of them I use personally. Sometimes I switch in and out of planners. So I really needed a place to corral all of my planners. They were so spread out. I had a small shelf next to our desk and it looked horrible, full of planners. It wasn't super functional. I also had 
a few planners upstairs in our homeschool closet. I had planners where else did I have them? I had a cube, like a cube bin and a cube shelf in our entryway. I had one of those stuffed full of planners. It was just a lot. And when I was trying to find things for either pictures or posts or things like that, it was just ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure out a place to put all this other stuff and I'm going to make room for my planners in the room that I typically work on them so that I have easy access. So sometimes you just have to decide you're gonna do something, you gotta take the time, and you gotta make it work. I didn't show you guys the process because there was nothing pretty about it. I did it really late one night and it would have been hard to film, but I got it done and it's amazing. All right, so my next project has made me so happy. You guys have seen this before However, I never actually finished. So months and months and months ago, I added these frames in here, but I finally added pictures in all of them, and they're pictures that I like. My plan for these picture frames was to add pictures of my husband and myself. This is in our bedroom. I didn't want kid pictures in here and stuff like that. A couple weeks ago, when I went out of town for a funeral, um, we came across some of our wedding prints and so I was able to get those and I mean I already had these I had just not really thought to dig them out but because I was getting them it just made it super easy so I no longer have the pick the people that came with the frames in this little gallery wall and it makes me really happy it took me a little while to finish it but now it is done all right, so I've got two projects that I'm gonna do with you. We're gonna decorate my dining room for Easter, which is gonna be super simple, super fast, and then we're going to tackle a closet. I have already put out my Easter decor. I like to have just a few little touches, but one day I was out shopping a few weeks ago and I found a really cute tablecloth. And I'm not usually a tablecloth person, but I felt like because this room is really kind of plain, I don't have a rug in here, I don't have curtains in here. I thought it might be nice to add some fabric in here. So I found a tablecloth that I really liked. So we are going to put that on the table and we're gonna change up a few things. So here's the centerpiece that I've been using and I've got something I wanna do different. There's my tablecloth, it's inside out right now. And then over here on the buffet, I just have these little eggs with a little rabbit and I think I want to lose all of that color in here. So we're going to do something just a little bit different. Like I said, this is going to be super simple. It's going to take just a couple of minutes, but I think it is going to make it really cute in here. Alright, so this is not really Easter-y, but I really like it. And so I'm going to use this on the table, and I'll be able to use this all spring and summer long. Alright, so all I'm going to do right here is I decided that because I've got those really pink flowers, I'm just not going to use these eggs. They're a little more colorful than I want in here now with the tablecloth and the flowers. And that is okay, I'm just gonna put these up. Just gonna store those for another time. Then I'm just gonna put these wood eggs in here next to the wood, next to the wood bunny. And then I just grabbed a candle and I'm just gonna put it right here. It looks like this, I'm just gonna turn that around. I don't have anything Easter-y. So I'm just gonna use this. And 
and I think that's good enough. All right, so here is the change. I like it. You guys, I still need to paint these chairs. And I still don't know what color I want to paint them. I don't know if I want them to be white. Um, maybe you guys have some good suggestions. I could paint this if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. I know it kind of has a very farmhousey, rustic feel, and that's not really my vibe, but I like this piece a lot, and I'm okay with having a piece of furniture just kind of randomly thrown in because I like it. Um, it's kind of very like creamy and glazed and distressed and all of that. So it's kind of making it hard for me to pick out colors for the chairs in here. This Robin's Egg Blue is not gonna be good with the sage green tables that are gonna be right here. The other reason that I wanna keep that buffet back there, that color, is because it kind of helps tie in this TV stand. This TV stand kind of has a yellowish tint to it. It's supposed to be cream, but it definitely goes kind of yellow. And I still like the TV stand. We bought it for our last rental house. It was perfect in there. Um, so I want to make it work. So that's kind of why I'm wanting to work with this buffet because I feel like color wise they're very similar and I kind of like for things to repeat so let me know if you guys have any good ideas for what color I should paint the chairs in this room you can see the room like it's got gray walls white plates on the wall and then I've got my blue and white pottery pictures framed in black which I like obviously the tablecloth won't be here all the time but there's just not a lot going on in here so what color would you paint these chairs our floors are eventually going to be like a wood looking tile and the baseboards will be updated to white at some point so those are some things to keep in mind. I'm still back and forth on a rug. I kind of like not having a rug in here. I know it would really dress up the space, but I'm not sure I want one. And now for the project that I'm going to be tackling today. This is our coat closet. There's not a light in here. I'm hoping I can get enough light. So I don't know that I've ever shown this much we did a lot of work in here. I actually did this for my Get Organized HQ virtual conference last year. If you saw that video, I did a video on multi-purpose closets, and this is one of the closets in that video. This closet is now a mess. It's not that it's not functioning well, it's just that people have been lazy putting things away. So it just needs a refresh. So right here we've got things that are gonna be donated. These hangers don't actually go there. Everybody seems to put hangers here when they don't want them in, the, in their closet. So I need to find a better solution for that. Back here, this has kind of been reworked some. It just, it needs some straightening up. All right, so I'm gonna start pulling some stuff out of here. And then we are going to make this closet look and function better, we're also going to do a little bit of cleaning. So I got a few things pulled out so it's a little bit easier to see in here now. This is like things we usually take when we go like to the lake and the beach and stuff like that. I've got a random homeschool binder in here. My hole punches are in here. They don't really need to be in here now. 
We've got our cooler and beach blanket. I moved out a box right here that really is just stuff that needs to be donated. And then <clears throat> down here at the bottom, I have some bins that I'm kind of hanging on to. I don't want to get rid of those yet. This used to have beach towels in it, but that was not super functional. So I moved most of the beach towels to the cabinet in the bathroom. However, I think I'm going to put some back in here somewhere. Just not right there. I think I'm going to use this to move like our beach like bags and things like things like that because we don't reach for that stuff as much as we do the towels so I'm going to kind of just play with this I'm not going to film this part because it's just really hard I can't like set up the camera for you to see in here and me do things so I'm going to give you guys a before and then I'll show you the after back here I also keep our shredder back there in that corner I just get it out every now and then, but it has to have a place to be. I vacuumed this boot tray and that didn't really clean it as well as I wanted it to. I mean, it got up all of the, you know, pieces of stuff, but there was still something on there. So I decided to just grab some cleaner. I tried using just a paper towel. That was not enough. So you will see that I went and grabbed just a cleaning cloth. It's just like an old washcloth. I got it um, wet with some really warm water and then I was able to clean this thing really good. Now, since I had that cloth out and everything was off the floor in that closet, I went ahead and cleaned the baseboards and wiped down the floor in the closet so that everything in there had a really good clean and it was totally worth doing. It really only took me just a couple of minutes and this is another project that I can get marked off of my list. All right guys, so this is so much better. This was not a case of things not working and functioning well. It was really just a case of people being lazy, not really putting things where they go. And also we've kind of had just a few things kind of shift, like our needs have kind of shifted a little bit. So let me take you through what we've got. Up here on this top shelf, we have some mop heads, some cleaning supplies, and we've got some pet supplies right here. And then this is where I keep my purse. There's kind of just enough room for it. And then as you come down, like in the evenings when my husband comes home, he will hang his jacket right here. So he usually does have a jacket in here. And then this shelf, I now have my basket for things that need to be donated. So my kids know that if they have outgrown something or don't want to wear something anymore, this is our designated spot for that. It was down on the floor, but it was really just taking up a lot of space and making the whole closet just feel super cramped. And it just wasn't really necessary. So that is empty. We've got, you know, a good stack of stuff to take to be donated. I still have our pool and lake. I still have our pool and beach cooler right here. Sunscreen and stuff like this. I did have this in the bathroom, but I moved it here to make room for the towels in the bathroom. I did that several days ago, mainly because my kids make a mess with towels when they're in here. So I'm trying this to see if this will work a little better. These are pretty much corralled, so they should be able to put this away neatly, right? You would think. All right, so down here, 
these shelves are pretty deep. In the back, I just have some party storage and things like that. Right here, this is just some extra decor and a tape measure that I like to keep handy. And then I keep my tripods and backgrounds and things right here. There's one more tripod that goes there. But I like to keep a little bit of extra space. It's nice, like if you have a random package or some kind of return for a store or something, it's nice for closets to not be completely full so that you have places to put things that are kind of in flex. Down here I moved our beach and boat bags here instead of up on the top shelf. And then I've got a few more towels that are in the dryer right now that are going to go on top. We've got enough in the cabinet that my kids aren't going to have to get to these. So I'll just have the extras here. I've got an extra picture frame right there. I've got my extra bins and stuff behind there. I'm eventually going to do a gallery wall and I'm kind of in the process of collecting frames. So that's what that is. Shredder and stuff stayed the same. There's also something else back there that's my husband's that just needs to stay in here. So, I mean, this is definitely a storage slash coat closet. And then over here, this is where I keep a lot of our cleaning supplies. So I have all of these things hanging right here. My vacuum used to hang right here, but I feel like that is what messed up the cord on my other vacuum. I feel like it put a lot of pressure on the cord, so I decided not to hang my new one up there. So it's just down on the floor. And then we keep a boot tray here. My husband and both of my sons have a spot to put a pair of shoes right there so they can quickly go out the door when they need to. Another thing I did is I made space for my bag. I'm taking a class a couple times a month and I needed a place to keep my bag. So I've got that in here, my husband's hat. We keep our batteries right here. And then there's another hook right under here where my husband, he keeps his backpack there when he comes in and out from work each day. And then on the closet door, we've got a couple command hooks. We don't have anything that just stays there permanently, but sometimes we'll throw a jacket or a hat or something on there. So this little project, I'm so glad this is done. It feels so much better. It's not overly crowded. I can see in here. I did take out all the hangers. I found a place in the garage in my laundry area to put those. So yay, I'm really glad to get this project checked off my list. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some projects that I've been working on, some things to come. I'm ready to get a few more things knocked out so that I can film that home tour for you guys. We have been able to accomplish so much this year. There are some things that I really thought we would get to that we haven't been able to, but there's other things that we've done that I wasn't sure we're gonna get done. So it is still a win and I'm excited to be able to share all of that with you soon in the next coming weeks. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you have the notification bell checked, and I will see you guys soon.